Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel is Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of Uranium. I uh, was taking a look on the right-hand side there, lots of really big days today uh, in terms of price movements. Uh, are we gonna head higher? Uh, we'll find out, let's see what the charts tell us. Uh, again, I just go with what the charts are telling me. Uh, if it tells me that we're gonna go down a statistical probability and we go up, well, that's your statistical probability. That's all. That's all this is. What I do is I position into the companies. I do not trade in and out. Uh, the valuations are good. The market conditions are good for these to appreciate. So I don't do anything. I'm looking for potential buying opportunities when I do these. I do not trade in and out. You guys can trade in and out. It, it was not successful for me doing it that way. I make far more money taking positions, positioning for a squeeze or a potential move, and then sitting in it and waiting for that move to appreciate. And then when it appreciates, I just hold on. I've been holding on for uh, quite a long time. I was a buyer in 2020. Uh, I continue to hold. Uh, there's no reason for me to trade in and out with the valuations where they're at, with the market conditions where they're at. And uh, I, I evaluate those conditions by inventory levels, maybe not uranium per se, but mostly inventory levels of oil, inventory levels of real estate, which is the inflation driver. I look at those things, but I'll, I'll dive into this. I'll give you my opinion. It's just my opinion. Please don't use it as advice. <clears throat> the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. Here we go. We got these, these patterns. They broke into the upside. We are in run mode. We had a big, large uh, day today. We're up 5.27%. Buyers stepped in here quite dramatically. Uh, I think this candlestick is kind of a fluke. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. If I go into the five-day uh, chart here, We've got a little bit of resistance here. You can see that resistance hit our head, hit our head, hit our head. And then we see this like fluke little uh, less than a minute, like a glitch in the system. So we finished basically at its peak, <clears throat> very strong finish. We zoom out. Uh, it looks pretty good. It still looks pretty good. So, I mean, yeah, you could say that we, we were in an uptrend and we kind of broke that uptrend and we were coming sideways, but that can still break to the upside in a stair-stepping pattern, a uh, stair-step upward like this. <clears throat> so that looks good, guys. Uh, the, the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust looks solid. Uh, we're coming on up into this area of all-time uh, highs, and we're getting a little bit of selling pressure, as expected. URNM finishing strong opening. So we opened down here and finished quite strong. What I say that is, is a left-to-right movement. We started here and ended here. That's a left to upper right. Uh, I like seeing that. It means strength throughout the day. Looks really good. Five-day candlestick. We're right at that resistance line. We're going to try breaking through it. That's what that white line is. The white line is this big resistance line. We could, we could break through this, maybe even tomorrow. Uh, I don't like making predict predictions. That's not what I'm in the game of. What I'm in the game of <clears throat> is resistance up here likely to fall. Support down here, likely to go up. So then what I do is, well, I do nothing up here, and then I buy or I try to time my buys as best I can. No one's going to be perfect. No one's going to get it perfect, uh, no matter who you are. So I cost average in at the best opportune times, and then I just hold on. So your is looking quite good. Bannerman, zoom in here. Uh, Bannerman's on top of its pattern. Again, I would be a buyer here, uh, a Bannerman. I buy on these retests. I buy, I buy, I buy. That is where I buy. Um, I buy every single time I get on these things. Did I buy Bannerman up here? No, because I already own a bunch of it. Uh, but I did buy some other companies. But I would buy Bannerman here if I didn't own it. Goviax, another one that's sitting on top of its pattern. It's got two resistance areas. This long resistance blue line and then a white resistance or support white line. Two support lines right underneath it. Low risk spot to be buying, I think. And it doesn't, just because it's low risk doesn't mean that there isn't risk at all. I'm just saying it's lower risk to be buying uh, on that. Global Atomic, 5.67%. Looks like it's ready to attack this all-time high again. We'll see what happens when it gets there. I, I don't want to say it's just going to break through it. We've hit it twice. We hit our head here and here. Hit back, hit back. Uh, each time when you hit back, so we hit our head here. We, we fell back to ultimately this level here. We hit our head again. Is this going to be the low that we come back, which is strengthening? 
I don't know, but uh, it looks good like we want to try to go up. We still have these massive down days, though. There's still some momentum potentially in this, uh, and we might see it tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, or if the buyers lay down a real big fat candlestick like that, um, that would be great. That would show me that the buyers are in control. Volume is kicking in today, so it looks good. Forces Metals is looking good today. Uh, I like these big, uh, like a, lo a lower opening price, a good closing price. Still low volume, though. Still low volume. Uh, we got nice big bullish engulfing there. I like seeing that. So we came up, came back, and now we're bouncing. Now we're going to see if what, what kind of hops the buyers have left in this thing, if it's got some, some movement. Pure Point Uranium is kind of a small update today. Momentum is heading back down. Again, we still look fine. We're in the chart. It's a small exploration company. Deep Yellow uh, looks good. Uh, bullish engulfing, most likely going to head higher. We're still kind of low inside this uh, of this pattern on the kind of towards the the bottom side of it. Uh, you can see sometimes we hit our head on this guy, hit it there, hit it there, basically, and we're we're trying to come back up through this. Get rid of that. Uh, Paladin Energy. <clears throat> Paladin, nice big update today. Ah, is that a bullish engulfing? It's very close to a bullish engulfing. Uh, we just got to break through this downtrend line, uh, and then we're in business. Sky Harbor. Oh, a nice big bullish engulfing here. Opened here, closed up. Uh, we're in this resistance. This is resistance line up here, guys. See all the, the, the sell-offs? Sell-off, sell-off, sell-off. Wicks at the top means they sell off. We're, we're right there. We're playing with it. We got just the tip in uh, into this box here, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Can Alaska is sitting on top of the, of the pattern. This pattern is what I'm talking about. We're right on top of it. Uh, this is where cheetahs like to relax, and then they run uh, if the market conditions and, and uranium goes up. So this guy's waiting. He, he or she is waiting to run. Next gen energy, nice big uh, update today, seven point eight percent bullish engulfing. Uh, very very nice day. Looking at the one minute candlesticks, you can kind of see we really uh, ripped it in the beginning of the day, and then we just went sideways kind of at the end of the day. So the momentum is going sideways on it. Base load eight point one three percent, putting in the bullish, pretty close to bullish engulfing. Hard to say. I do think this is going to go higher eventually. It looks good. Fission 3.0, kind of still hanging down here, right? We've got the long-term downtrend lines broken. We've come back up. Uh, what I do next is I'll kind of draw a line going across, and then I just kind of fan it up and down like this, saying, where are my resistance levels? Uh, there's a resistance level going through this guy here. See it? Bounce, 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 bounce. Coming up, hit our head, hit our head, and we're trying to come above, up above this. It's got some resistance right there, that white line. Wow, fission, way to go, fission. 13.7%. Uh, you're an animal, fission. You're an animal. I love it. Nice big update today. Uh, opened up, closed up higher. Fission's an animal, guys. I do like fission, though. I like fission. They've got a good deposit. They continue to prove up the reserves. I think it's got a good a good future ahead of it. I do like fission. Uh, Camco, it's right at that resistance line. We're going for 52-week highs. Uh, that's what our sites are on right now. Uh, this has probably got a left to right. Here's our left to right. That looks really strong. Good job, Camco. Uh, I like it a lot. Let's break through this. Uh, Kazatum Prom, flat day to day. Uh, it's still depressed. Uh, it's going through depression, guys, because <laughs> that's some problem, you know, the war depression, we'll call it. Uh, it's still working itself out. Peninsula Energy, again, it's right above its support resistance. Support, I should say, support lines. There it is right there. Uh, good spot to be looking at it. That's, that's what I'm going to say. I like buying in these areas myself. Not advice, just my opinion. Boss Energy. Uh, I don't know. I don't see the next. This this was like I've seen this pattern before. Uh, it looks like it's March sixteenth, not the seventeenth. I don't know where the seventeenth is at, but small down day today is what it shows. 
Uh, is that the 17th? It says the 16th. I don't know why. Anyway, but boss energy is right at, at uh, resistance, trying to break through it. Uh, consolidated uranium, been chopping sideways. Nice, good resistance line there. It is sitting on top of kind of a, a, a big pattern that we're trying to break. And we got some resistance here. You can see all these little sideways days that are trading. Looking at Lotus resources, again, we're, we're up against this resistance line. We got to break through it. A uh, nice solid day today. Nice solid day. Going into the all-star performer group <laughs> coming up. I'm just seeing all these double-digit gains coming up. Holy smokes. Um, you, Roy, moving on up. Uh, me, Roy, you, Roy, Raul, Roy. We love you, Roy. I don't know, something. But, you know, what I do is I just look, look to the left. Draw a line, look to the left. Do we have, you know, resistance coming through? This is where we're at. A little bit of resistance through here. We got to break through that. And then we just kind of work our way higher here. We come through that resistance. Then we got resistance up in this region up there uh, with the trading coming up through this section. Uh, so we'll get through it, guys. It looks really strong. Uh, Encore Energy. Okay, Encore Energy. We've got the nice downtrend line here. Uh, we're trying to play with that downtrend line. We got to break through it. We're right at it, guys. Here we go. We break. We start breaking through these downtrend lines, and we're going to see some strength, some strength to really start to move these little dots out of here. You, 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 you got what I want. I love it. Look at this break here, guys. Uh, broke right through it. Like, well, it was at support. Didn't break it. It just went. You know, it's using it as a support line to jump from, and it jumped up. Good job, you, 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 you got what I want. URG moving on up 10%, 10.8% looks good. Um, yeah, we're in the pattern, starting to move higher. Uh, this could be a, a first wave, a pullback, and then we could do a third wave, maybe. I'm not an Elliott Wave expert, guys. Uh, I, I wish I was, but I'm not. Looking at UEC, up 17.26%. Uh, that's what a lot of fund managers try to do in a year. But we're in uh, the small uranium market. We like volatility, and that volatility will give us the gains eventually. But that looks good. Finished quite strong uh, on a daily candlestick. You know, uh, this is one day, um, one minute candlestick, left to right. Everything looks good. I like the left to rights. LEU, a little bit of buying pressure, a little bit of selling pressure. Uh, that one's going to have more of a, a of a of a arc over. So the the momentum is coming kind of back down. It's trying to find that. But it looks okay. We have a lot of selling pressure right before it. So we'll see where this ends up. We might roll over and do a little bit of sideways action before heading higher. LTBR, light bridge, a nice little move higher here. Lots of buying pressure through here. Smaller selling pressure, bullish engulfing today. Looks good. ISO energy. ISO energy's had always had a lot of pop. 13.19%. Uh, looks really good if you just look. If you do the nod logarithmic, looks really good. We're doing that barrel pattern type move. And hopefully eventually we'll break to the upside. Uh, Appia Energy, I like the breakout here. I like it over here. Um, that's just me. I like buying stuff on these, these breakouts like this. And we're above it. So I think that's a good value down there. Denison Mines above the support area. It used it as support. Bounced higher. Looks good. The buyer stepped in. Let's see what this can do. Wow, look at all these double... This is ridiculous, guys. They're all double digits. Uh, Blue Sky Uranium heading higher, up 12.8%. Looking fantastic. Finishing strong, too. Wow, that looks good. Forum Energy Metals. Way to be Forum Energy. I'm so glad this is going up because uh, I saw it early in the morning, and it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> it was down here. I was like, no, it's not participating. And the reason I'm saying no is because I did buy some uh, back when it was really low over here. I did. I did loads. I I bought some back here, and I was like, "This better move because um, I want it to move on higher." Uh, it's moved on higher fantastically today, and I think it's doing. It looks really good. I like this nice big bullish uh, candlestick. We've got a lot of bullish candlesticks. The down days are much smaller. It, it's looking really good over here, like it wants to move on up. Anfield's another one that I think uh, could be a long shot. Where we could see a big move, <clears throat> and LDF big big update today looks looks good. 
Lermide, 8.38%. Um, this one also, you could draw the kind of the break there. It's breaking out. It's above support. It looks really good here, guys. I, I like it a lot right there. Western Vanadium Corp. This thing is volatile as all get out. I don't know where this thing's going. Um, super volatile, but we're up 14.6% today. It finished strong, looks strong, is strong. UEXCF, another one that's at support, uh, up 7.1%. Looks pretty good. I like buying on support areas. Mega Uranium's the same spot, right on support. I like buying on these support areas, in the, and then just the Cheeto will run when when it, when the time comes. Standard Uranium up 7.14%, kind of on a on a big pullback here. I've seen better better looking charts than this. And a a a ALXEF, another one that's down. It's got a big bullish uh, lo looking pattern. I wish it had more leverage to the price move. Uh, Azen Court just moving sideways. This guy's been in sideways uh, land. We call this the dead period. Sometimes this works out very well, buying in the dead period, and then we get this huge break, like a 50% up day or something when, when things start to break. And I'm not claiming that, guys. What I'm just saying is when I see these patterns do this, they, they get these big, yeah, like this day right here. That That's exactly what I'm saying, this big day. What is that? Four cents to like nine cents. You get this just massive move in a day uh, from, and I guarantee there's like a big, you know, like a dead period before it. And then all of a sudden, it, it, this is what you want to look for. I've seen it all the time. You get this dead period that comes like this, and then it, it, it starts moving up like this, and then it just launches. And then you're going to get this, this dead period here, and then it starts to move on up like this, and then it'll launch. It'll launch right through that resistance line. And you'll be like, oh, I should have bought it down here. I didn't buy it. It's like, you know what? You're on Finding Values channel. If you like Azen Court, uh, which I own a little bit, you know, I, I I would buy it here. That's me. I can't give advice, but that's what I would do. And then we've got Valera Metals up 2.56%. It's broken out. It looks good. Long-term wise, it looks really good. It's a break higher. I think we're going much higher for Valera Metals. <clears throat> so that's what I've got for today, guys. Um, Uranium did pretty well. And are we going to go way higher from here? We very well could. Uh, I don't like, again, do not like making predictions. Find the low risk areas of entry points. What would I be buying in this type of scenario? You know, I I would probably look at Azen Court. Um, I would look at like a Fission 3.0 that's still down. Uh, I would look at some of these ones that are just going ballistic to the upside. Maybe something like a Forum Energy Metals. Uh, maybe these ones where you don't have much resistance above it, like a UEC even. Uh, and and everyone knows I like the African Crew. Uh, the African Crew is Forces Metals. Bannerman, Deep Yellow, uh, Global Atomic, Paladin Energy, uh, anything over there I think is going to do quite well. So um, big day. Don't get too emotional. Just day to day, guys. This is very volatile. Uh, I know the accounts go up a lot and they're very volatile. So ride through it. Ride through it. Buy what's down. Hold on. Uh, and, and don't let the bull buck you off. Uh, easy to hold on when days are like this. Much harder when things go down in in you know, the opposite direction of what you want them to. Is this the beginning of the rotation of money? I think so. We're seeing commodities across the board do very well. Uh, the commodity CRB index was up quite a bit. This rotation is going to last uh, so long that we have high inflation and that we have increasing interest rates. This is when things get really fun. Uh, this is where I like to not do anything. This is where you make money. You make money by not doing anything, holding on, and letting these things rip. I hold the rips, I buy the dips. That's what, the way I play this uh, until the market conditions change. If you guys like this type of analysis, subscribe to the channel. There's no reason not to. Give me a thumbs up for the content. Uh, check out my website. If you want to sign up, sign up. We've got silver memberships and platinum memberships. Platinum memberships get you all this stuff. I, I post on it. Uh, we're going to meet this Saturday. If you're a platinum ship member, we are going to meet. Uh, we're going to do it in the morning. Uh, I'm going to talk to all the platinum members. Uh, and the silver members, I'm going to continue to post uh, information, financial education stuff, but the platinum membership gets you uh, a meeting with me and you, can, you guys can ask me questions. We can go back and forth over a Zoom call. And uh, if you sign up, you can, you can meet uh, this weekend if you want to do so. Thanks for listening. This is Finding Value.